Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of our Hardcore Iron Man series, episode number 9 already. Thank you for amazing support on all of the previous episodes. And with that being said, let's jump right into the first clip. I'm probably the luckiest person ever, just got 4 diamonds from the Molly random event, feels good. Here we go, I will be done with Agility Pyramid for now, let me just exchange those tops and we're currently at 200k which is amazing and I think there is some low buying to do and some quests to finish. I basically finished two Sudoku puzzles right here and got uh, 30 low runes and 85 cosmic runes out of that. I still have a lot of coins left which I will most likely use to buy rune armor. Now there is a lot of noise happening in the background, hopefully you can't hear that. Holy shit, what are people doing? Anyways, um, let's do some quests, I think. Or maybe some AFK skills, since I kind of have some work to do. Yup, I did end up designing the kind of AFK while I'm working on other projects. So here is 40 fletching, and I can now fletch longbows, which, you know, is just there to be there. Not that I'll use them, but I guess they will sell for a little bit more profit, and I'll be getting a little bit more experience out of that. So um, yeah, still woodcutting, still fletching until I have time to do quests. And here is 50 woodcutting, all from just AFKing and I think I'll stick around with a little bit more woodcutting for now. Nice fletching level obtained, 45 right now and what do we have here? A hard clue scroll. Now I'm gonna finish this inventory and then we're gonna take a look if I can finish it up, which most likely is not the case. And the moment of truth. Let's see the book. Okay, this feels like we're hell no. Bye bye. Not going there. No way. Decided to knock out a little bit of fire making. Now I did make four fire making levels already. I'm gonna go all the way to level 50 while obviously just wood cutting my my willows right over here in Lumbridge. After that, we'll most likely be doing quests. I'm still kind of busy, still kind of doing other stuff. So um, yeah, time to wood cut and do some fire making. Pretty cool milestone happening right over here, 850 total level, I'm basically still doing fire making, currently 39, I'm probably gonna speak to you whenever I do reach 50, because that's where I will stop, so um, yeah, just basically wood cutting and yeah, nothing too intense going on here, just clicking the tinderbox, clicking the log. I just got a school event, now if I use this on Herblor I should be probably getting a level, there we go, 20 Herblor, still wood cutting, still training fire making, but I think I'll stop before I actually reach 50, simply because I kind of want to do some quests and this is getting repetitive and I actually have some time to do other stuff now. So, for those of you wondering, I'll be killing Fredir and Lanzik in order to potentially get a Liar, which I'll need for Fremenic Trials. So, you can easily safe spot them with range, just like that. They kind of get stuck in the doors for whatever reason. Seems like they're afraid to go out of houses or something. Uh, but yeah, I'll be killing those two until I get a Liar. It's a 1 in 125 drop, so it, ca it can definitely take a while. But you know, I don't really mind, because all you really need to do is attack him, move back, and it's safe spotted. So it's really nice, really easy, and hopefully we don't end up being here for hours and hours on end. Hey, there we go, Liar obtained, nice, nice. That took a while, but not too long. Definitely better than just training, crafting up. Uh, so yeah, that's awesome. Now I could do foraminic trials whenever I feel like it, but I feel like I need to do some prayer training before I do that. I will see, I will decide, and then I'll do something. Alright, I'm currently doing one small favor quest, the super freaking annoying quest, uh, but since I'm already here, I'm gonna give him some swords, and let's see if I get lucky. I think that you can get lucky, like you can get up to rune, I'm not quite sure though. So far, not exactly. Alright, we got a black one. And that is it, definitely not worth to save up uh, the Rusty Sword, so I'll stop doing them. But yeah, you can get the general idea what you should expect. Here we are at the half point of this annoying quest, now let's do everything backwards. So, once you're at this part of the quest, as you can see, where all of these weird dwarves, dwarves, dwarves try to attack you, you can just run right here next to the boxes, and let's see, can I attack them? No, I can't. Uh, but yeah, you can kind of flinch them if you're too low level or whatever, I'm just gonna face tank them, because they really aren't too hard to kill, or are they? Or for example, when you're eating, like now, you can run north, eat, and you know, just like that, you're gonna be safe. Because they actually do hit quite a lot. I didn't expect to get hit at all. But yeah, there, there you have it. This is safe area if you have any problems. 
Alright, so after an hour of just running around the runescape and completing small favors for every single person, we're now finally at the end of the one small favor quest. Uh, we did obtain a steel keyring and we do get two lamps that each give us 10,000 experience. Now, two quest points, glider to trip to fell the bills, two reward lamps, as said, and keyring, and I can also make gothic rest, gothic's rest. These, I will not need them, but here is like the idea what I have right now. Now, in my first Iron Man, the original Iron Man, I obviously used it on Herblor, but now I really, really want to have 43 prayers so I can complete all the amazing quests, and that is what I'll end up doing. In the future, I'll train Herblor different ways. I will... I don't even know, even kill druids if needed, but honestly, I just want to get prayer out of the way. So that's the first prayer level. Uh, there it is, 39, and now use it again on the prayer. And here it is, let's see, boom, 42. Now, we're currently 3000 experience away from 43, the level that we desire to complete all the quests. Now, I think I will just probably do some one trip of blue dragons or something like that just to get that final level out of the way. And then we have so many more possibilities of the quest that we want to complete. So that quest is absolutely awesome to get out of the way and let's see what we end up doing next. Alright, so thanks to my amazing math calculations, I will be needing 14 dragon bones, uh, doing them at Ectophantas to get 43 prayer. If my calculations are off, then I'm sorry, but hopefully we get that 43 prayer out of the way, and then we can focus on just finishing quest after quest after quest. I don't know if I'll go straight for Monkey Madness, because I don't feel like doing another long quest after I just, completing, uh, after I just completed a super long quest, but I'm kinda leaning towards doing a quest for recipe for disaster but first on the road I do need to get 14 dragon bones and there we go a cool little level 50 magic coming in now I did not want to miss this level because it looks so nice halfway to 99 just kidding but yeah definitely a nice level to get and we just need 14 dragon bones again uh, let's go alright so after quite a bit of grind here is the final bone that will get us to 43 prayer and there we go, 43 prayer accomplished. Now we can protect from basically everything in this game, so that is absolutely awesome. Now, I will take some time off working for university again, and then we'll see what quests I still want to finish. I decided to kind of knock out the prerequisites for the recipe for disaster, and one of the quests which I still didn't do is fishing contest, so here it is. Completion of the quest gives me 2.5k fishing experience and this little shortcut as well as one quest point. Now let's see if that gives us a fishing level, uh, nope, but we can now go down to these stairs, so that is awesome, you know, and um, uh, we will be able to get a dwarven a rock cake thanks to that. Now, um, for recipe for disaster, I kind of want to get done with all the prerequisites as well as just complete the, the ones that I can, so that's what I'll be working on uh, before I do monkey madness. Um, yeah, lesson of the day, never trust goblin cook, because shit can uh, get uh, yeah destroyed, kind of. Poor goblins. Um, yeah, nice kitchen you have there, mad knuckles. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> it worked. Yay. First out of many subquests of Recipe for Disaster is completed. And there we go, 1000 cooking, crafting, farming experience obtained. Now this will probably give me a farming level. I still will have to do 7 more, but here is 20 farming and 38 crafting. Pretty decent, let's complete another one. Here we are about to finish another part of prerequisites, using this cake on the dwarf gives us 1k cooking experience, 1k slayer experience and 1 quest points. Also the increased access to the Colinomancer chest, pretty damn good, I have 6 members left to save, that was 32 slayer, uh, pretty damn solid, as well as 875 total level, damn quite an eventful clip, uh, but with that being said I think I can do a pirate pit's part right off the bat 
and then move down the ladder and complete some others as well. But from what I see, this reaches 10 minutes of today's video. So I kind of want to put uh, basically video out every day or every two days, totally depending if I get enough footage in for a day. If not, I kind of make a video every two days. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. In the next one, we'll be completing a lot of huge quests such as Monkey Madness and so on and so forth. We'll be trying to get Questcape on this account as soon as possible and then we basically Slayer Grind begins and everything like that. So if you want to stick around with the progress, click the subscribe button, stay tuned, that would be amazing. Also, if you enjoyed the video, like is always highly appreciated. It helps with exposure and with that being said guys have a wonderful day i'll see you again either tomorrow or in two days and have a wonderful day bye bye we make the streams louder